Self-help was very hard until I found the secret formula. Keep watching to figure out exactly how I made my self-help journey so much easier. And we are live! Hi, welcome back to Rosabeth Moon Motivation. My name is Michaela Rosabeth and I'm on a mission to help others help themselves by sharing how I helped myself. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about some key points. Key points of this video is my backstory on why me and why I'm the one that you're going to be listening to and taking this advice from. I'm also going to be sharing information to you about the brain and psychology around this topic. And lastly, it's all about simply adding and never restricting. So you're going to find out what I mean by that. On Rosabeth Moon Motivation, we talk about all things self-help, including Wednesdays where I have self-help episodes just like this, where I talk about specific topics, and simultaneously on Saturdays where I have short affirmation episodes for those of you who listen to affirmations, but you're on more of a busy schedule or just simply prefer like two and a half minute long affirmations like I do. Let's jump into season one, episode 21 of Rosabeth Moon Motivation. I always love saying my backstory to why these episodes are incredibly important for me. And this one's no different. At my max weight, I reached 320 pounds. And it was because I had formulated a belief that I had a lack in food. This mindset had come from an accumulation of stuff in childhood where I had formulated the belief that I had a lack of needs. Different things happened that kind of accumulated it all, right? It was an accumulation of seeing myself eat while other family members at the dinner table didn't. And it was kind of like when you grow up and you start thinking about the things from your childhood and they start piecing themselves together and you're like, oh, Oh, okay. And that's what my brain did. It formulated the belief that I was lacking in food. And because of that, the symptom was I gained up to 320 pounds. I'm 5'6 for reference. And it just was really bad. It was a really bad situation. And some of the things that perpetuated this was, right, being restricted from money, restricted from romantic attention, friend groups, happiness, all of the above. And so when I started my self-help journey, I knew that these were the topics that I really wanted to go into, and especially my health. I was in and out of the hospital with a lot of health concerns because of the way that I was treating myself, treating my health, and... I knew that I wanted to fight this. And so what did I do? I did what everybody told me to do, right? I was trying to help myself. And I found something really interesting with not only the way that people teach you to help yourself, but the way that I was helping myself. And here's what I found so interesting. I was trying to help myself lose weight by restricting everything that I had eaten for the past 20 plus years all right so remember that i was trying to help myself eat healthier by restricting entire food groups i was trying to help myself feel better by restricting food some days as a whole and just not eating at all i had been trying to help myself feel better by restricting the food that i craved do you see a pattern my innate response and the way that I was taught to help myself was to restrict instead of add. It was to restrict more stuff with what I'm already restricting. You see how that's a problem? You can't fight fire with fire, right? That's the easiest saying. You can't restrict and win by restricting restrict because if you're restricting and that's the issue, then restricting it even more is going to keep the issue growing, right? And so that had me thinking, what if instead of me doing what, you know, I've been told and 
have been doing my whole life and what I came to believe was lack and restricting. What if instead of me lacking and restricting, I added? What if instead of restricting and working against my habits, I actually added to my habits? And that's the formula. Simply add and never restrict. Just by simply adding into my self-help journey and in alignment with my goals, I was able to lose 96 pounds, which is where I'm at now. Thank you. <laughs> naturally, completely naturally. I was able to heal from my binge eating. I was able to heal my lack mindset. And but how? right it's like it sounds so simple it sounds so simple if you add stuff into your life instead of restrict it sounds like it would work but why why does that work well if you've seen my previous episodes i love throwing in a little bit of uh science and psychology in with the spirituality and self-help and all this good stuff so here's the science when you begin to improve an idea or situation your brain begins getting fired up looking for possible changes it can make to feel this hole that you're creating. But the brain is tricky. The brain likes to do what makes it feel the best. Once a habit has already been established, for example, right, my really rough food eating habit, once it was already established, my brain didn't want to change it. So the solutions that it was looking for wasn't necessarily going to help it. When a habit has already been established in the brain, the brain gets stronger every single time you do that habit. So what that means is that the brain is not gonna change and it doesn't want to change. So it's not gonna look for solutions to change. But that's where you throw in this hack. While the brain doesn't necessarily like change, your brain loves adding new stuff into your life. It loves it. And here's the most interesting part, okay? When you add something to an existing habit, the brain's reward and dopamine systems actually become activated in the brain. Simply put, the brain begins to crave what you're adding into your life instead of throwing a fit whenever it's being restricted. Here's the example of how this worked for me. And we're gonna tie it all back into my food story, right? I stopped restricting myself from what I was eating daily and I added in a single vegetable to one meal a day. And the result was that now my brain craves vegetables and I eat more vegetables at a meal now than any, any other food group. It's mostly all vegetables, right? But then, I stopped restricting myself to whole food groups. And what happened? I started adding new food groups that I haven't tried before. The result, I learned that I love kiwi and exotic fruits. And I had never, ever, ever tried exotic fruits before. And so that really got my brain going and got me to start craving fruits and vegetables. And then the last example of how adding instead of restricting worked was I stopped restricting the food that I craved and added an item alongside it. So here's what I mean. I love soda. I love soda so much. I grew up on it. I didn't, literally didn't drink water up until I was maybe 18 years old because I love soda so much. And that's a problem, right? Because I didn't have any water in my system. So I was very, very dehydrated. So instead of restricting soda, and knowing that my brain would have a really hard challenge to me restricting it and would end up me going overboard and binging it, I simply added water. And what happened was as I drank one can of soda, I drank one glass of water. Slowly but surely, my brain started craving water. It started craving the thing that I hated because I simply added it instead of restricted everything else. Let that sit for a minute. So the result of adding instead of restricting actually helped me get better on my self-help journey. Who would have known? Isn't that crazy? So the secret formula is so easy, right? I've been saying it this whole time. It is always add, never restrict. I tried this with all of the things that I felt like I was lacking in and I helped myself in every single one of them. Isn't that wild? 
If you prefer the article version of this, I do have, of this episode, I do have the article and I do have a free worksheet attached to it if you are a learner like me that loves worksheets to kind of really integrate the work. I have all of those free on my website at rosabethmoon.com and the website should be right up here. Uh, so definitely please check that out. Also, I didn't mention Moon Magic Botanicals at all until the very end of this episode simply because we are in a manufacturing and production restructure. So please keep updated over on Instagram at Moon Magic Botanicals and check me out on my socials. If you prefer more of the self-help 101, check out the playlist in the description below once again. My name again is Michaela Rosabeth. Remember, you have the power of choice. You can stop restricting yourself. You can stop feeling like you lack everything. And you can finally become who you want to be by adding one thing at a time. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And I will see you, well, I'll see you in a week. Have a good one, okay? Have a great week. <laughs>